Hey folks, I recently got an Elgato Stream Deck and it's really changed the way that I edit my videos for YouTube, for my classroom, for lots of places. So let's talk about it. To start off with, this thing is really just a button-based shortcut generator, at least how I use it. Essentially, I edit most of my videos in Camtasia. It's a fantastic screen recording program, it does lots of other things as well, and it's also a really good video editor overall. The problem that I run into is that I forget a lot of the shortcuts. I'm just not good at it. This thing allows me to remember them with a visual cue. Essentially, the Stream Deck is 15 buttons that you can pre-program to decide what you want them to do. You can set the shortcuts, and it's nice because in Mac, you can just go through and see the shortcuts immediately, and it allows you to pick what you want, and you just set it, and you can go from there. It's nice because in the Mac, it shows you the shortcuts, so all you have to do is go through, you can select your shortcut, select a thumbnail to go with it, and then it creates it. And when you're running the program, it just works. I use this to set up my recording so I can just hit the start button and it starts, the stop button and it stops because I forget those shortcuts all the time, even though I've used this program for over 10 years. It also helps when I'm doing longer form things, like if I make a mistake and I need to repeat something, I can just hit the marker button and I know that when I see that in my editing timeline, I have to remove something. It makes it way easier to quickly edit things without really having to worry about much. There's lots of little things that I do with this that work. You can see I have lots of open buttons, but really the buttons that I need to use are there and then I can grow if I change programs or just decide that there's new shortcuts I want, or if I need to use this program in combination with something else, I have space to grow. Now, my setup is really basic. I didn't customize any icons. I didn't do any of the work that you normally would have to do with this to get it to look and feel the way you want. I don't particularly care about that. I don't want to spend time investing into that. What I really care about right now is making sure that I have buttons that do what I need to do for the shortcuts that I always forget or that are confusing and that just work. In combination with the MX Master, this thing is killer. All I have to do is go through and set up my shortcuts or my hotkeys inside of my MX Master for editing. And then when I have my Stream Deck going, I can really speed up my workflow. I can silence my audio, cut things, do whatever I need to do, and I have room to grow. This thing really allows me to take my editing to another level. Not that it makes me a better editor by any means, but it speeds up my workflow a great deal. And that's really important because I don't have a lot of time to do this stuff. I really like this thing. It's not perfect. It's good. The buttons are mushy. The customizations are a little clunky. The software is good. It's not great. It takes a little bit of time to learn, but once you have the basics down, it's pretty solid. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this thing. I have lots of other things that I want to do with it. I'm not a streamer or anything like that. It's not something that I really want to or plan on doing, but it gives me options. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in our next video.